All right, everybody. First, we're going to check out the Evelyn Agony's Embrace Champion teaser. Let's give this a look. It's only a minute long. So this was a rework. Yeah. From what I could see. <laughs> oh, are you laugh. Whoa. Whoa. Let Evelyn take over. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that was cool. That run that she was doing. Oh, the heart with her tail, too. Yo, Evelyn's scary. Oh, my God. Oh, the red eyes <laughs> and the laugh. Okay. Very, very cool. Very scary. Kind of like almost on the... I mean, nobody, nobody comes close to fiddlesticks, but... Ooh, the little piano there at the end. Nothing like fiddlesticks, but you know what I mean? Same kind of like vibes uh, with, with the, the scariness and the horror stuff going on there. Let's go ahead and go straight into her gameplay spotlight. I always like to see the abilities and stuff and get an overview of that as well. So let's do this next. This is Evelyn. Let's turn it up. Agony's Embrace. Eve lures in her prey with a promise of love, then subjects okay. her victims to unspeakable torment. Oh, whoa. My pleasure. So should she turn the enemy Welcome towards her? The Evelyn Champion Spotlight. Agony's Let Embrace. Evelyn okay. I feel like she looks different than that even now, doesn't she? Maybe I'm wrong. Evelyn's passive is Demon Shape. Okay. After leaving combat for a few seconds, Evelyn is enveloped by Demon Shape. If Evelyn's health is low, she'll recover it quickly while this ability is active. Oh, okay. Very cool. Starting at level six, Demon Shade also grants camouflage. This makes ah. Evelyn hidden from view to all except nearby enemy champions, control boards, and turrets. Ah, okay. So just, she just goes straight in this. Q is hate spike. Whoa. She lashes out, hate dealing spike. damage to and marking the first enemy hit. Okay. This target receives additional damage from Evelyn's next few attacks or abilities. All right, okay, that's cool. If the marked target is a monster, a significant chunk of hate spike's cooldown will be refunded. Huh. That ability looks really cool. If misses, Evelyn can recast the ability up to three times to fire a line of spikes from the nearest enemy champion or whatever Evelyn is currently attacking. Oh, okay. The spikes deal full damage to all enemies beyond the first. Cool. Evelyn's W is Lust Dust. Lust Dust. So does it lure them she towards you? She literally curses a target champion or monster. Mm hmm. Hitting the cursed target with their basic attacks or abilities will expunge the curse. Damaging oh. is significantly slowing the target. And okay, slows them. Dust mana cost. Don't worry, honey. I'm open to all types. Ha! If Evelyn leaves the curse untouched for a few seconds, Lust Dust will charm the target instead of slow and shred oh. their magic resist. If the target is a monster, the length of the charm will be increased and the spell will deal even more damage. Oh, wow. Casting Lust Dust does not break Demon Shade, but it does show your opponent oh. a little indicator that points to your location when the W charge completes. So you can do it from Invis. Interesting. Evelyn's E is Whiplash. How do you get rid of it, though? Careful. How does, like, uh, uh, can you she get rid of it somehow? She an enemy with her lashers, applying on hit effects and dealing damage as a percent of the target's maximum health. Okay. Evelyn is then granted a short burst of movement speed. The whiplash is crazy. Entering Those tails or whatever they are are crazy. Cooldown and empowers its next cast. They look hella sharp. Casting empowered whiplash, Evelyn pulls herself to her target, deals additional ah. damage, and hits all enemies in a line through her target. It's like a big swipe. Evelyn's ultimate is Widowmaker. Widowmaker. She unleashes her demonic energy, becoming That's the big and swipe. leaving enemies Whoa. in front of her before warping backwards. And then she warps backwards. Cool. This ability deals bonus damage to low health enemies. Targets vulnerable to the bonus damage from Widowmaker will have a marker above their head, but this does not necessarily mean that they will die to it. Hmm. What the heck was Darius doing there? <laughs> okay. Evelyn is very reliant on mana for her clear, so it's a okay. good idea to take blue buff early in the route. Evelyn's got an agonizingly weak early game. Her mana pool is oh, really? and before she unlocks Demon Shade's camouflage, her ganks are very telegraphed. Okay. Interesting. <sighs> Kind of a weak six, she'll character early on. Laners with crowd control to pull off successful ganks. Be mindful of how you use your Q when clearing camps. Land the initial cast of Hate Spike on the biggest baddie, so your subsequent casts deal bonus damage to it. 
Okay. Try to maneuver the smaller critters in the camp into a line to make the most out of all that hate you've got pent up inside. Yeah, get them in a line. Makes sense. Once Eve hits level six, she becomes a terrifying invisible murder right, machine. Right, the invis seems really good. Keep opponents on their toes and emerge from the darkness Maybe it's when not. they've got no I chance of escaping. Evelyn's ultimate, Widowmaker, is great for stealing, I mean securing kills, but you can even use it for a spooky drive by Whoa, on Dragon Rivera. Oh, that's crazy. It's also a that great cool. clutch defensive tool for evading enemy skill shots or getting over walls. <laughs> oh, whoa. Surprise opponents by aiming okay. it backwards to use it as a gap closer. Oh, very cool as well. Try not to blow it too early, though. Once it's gone, you've got no reliable way to get back in. That movement, yeah, the movement of pushing it back or going Once backwards. Once you the late game, Evelyn's you can use job it in is to ways. fights before they start. Look for clueless supports in the jungle to evaporate, or just pop out of nowhere and one v one their squishies when they think they're safe. Wow. After dumping all your damage on your primary target, it's okay and often optimal to weave in and out of combat to re-enable Demon Shade and Empowered Whiplash. This way, you'll get even more damage out of it and regain your cooldowns to eviscerate your next target. Wow, okay. Thanks for watching the Evelyn Champion Spotlight. Want to learn even more? Check out these links to submit to Agony's Embrace. All right, let's go ahead and... Okay, whoa, 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 hold on. I want to go back. Those are different skins of hers. Very cool. We'll dive more into the skins a little bit later. Um, next, we're going to move into Evelyn's story. Let's get to know Evelyn a little bit more. So this, this is the first... Technically, the second champion we're reacting to the voice lines of. We've only reacted to Fiddlesticks. I know we have Tom Kench, and then I think Nyla is another demon, right? That's been confirmed. So let's go ahead and get into Evelyn's story. I'm very interested to... I have no idea where her story is going to start or where, where it's going to go. So I'm very interested. Let's find out. All right, turns out Evelyn also had a Legends of Runeterra reveal come out just recently in the last year. And so we're going to check this out as well. Who is that that she is um, messing with here? I'm Evelyn takes pleasure in their pain. Okay, I want to read the card here. Agony's Embrace. You may put any cards that summon husks into your deck during deck building. And then Origin. Agony's Embrace. When I'm summoned, summon a random husk. When you are an ally, kill an allied husk. Give me its positive keywords this round and I level up. Oh, interesting. She levels up from the husks. Okay. Let's just take a look at the animations we have here. Bang. And the voice lines that she might have. All right, here's Evelyn. There's a husk. A couple more husks. Oh. Mind if I slip into something a little more painful? Whoa, that was cool. That was a really cool animation. And then she changed. Don't worry, it's not my first time. It's always over so soon. Back on the prowl. That's my Vora. Vora? Who is Vora? Wait, who's Vora? Huh. Let me know in the comments if you guys know who that is. See what's inside. I like that the I like that the card changes, like the the her look from her female form to like a more sinister form. That was hot. Dance for me. I love it when they scream. I have no idea what's going on in the game, but it still looks really cool. Another plaything, Evelyn. I've missed you. Hush now, love. You'll startle the food. We're playing by my rules. Huh. Now who is that? They always come it seems she has back. friends with her. Last Caress. That's a cool name for a card. Matches well with Evelyn. Here comes the mood killer. Steam? How about you go away? Who are these characters that I've never heard of? Let's do this again sometime. Okay, let's go ahead and pause here. I do want to take a look at the cards. So we have a lure, summon a random husk. That's a good card, and that's the good artwork for that. Evelyn's last caress. We have the two different Evelyns here. So behind me is a card called Vora. When I'm summoned, summon a random husk. Who is Vora? And then we have the steam person here. Um, 
I don't know, do elves exist in League of Legends? I don't think so. So I don't know what he is. Uh, he does the same thing. When I'm summoned, summon a random husk. She has her hate spike. Kill an ally to deal two damage to a random unit and summon a random husk. And then it's a card called Solitude. Or is it a person named Solitude? And then we have a card called Domination as well. Very interesting. I think that might be it to all of the uh, trailer here. Very cool. So this came out in July. So they've been adding a lot of characters to um, Legends of Runeterra recently. And I've mentioned before, guys, I do want to, I definitely do want to um, play Le uh, Legends of Runeterra at some point uh, and get back into it. Again, I used to play League of Legends, or not League of Legends, I used to play Hearthstone, geez, and um, Magic the Gathering. So I very much have been into that world. I know it can be very addicting and time-consuming, though, so I'm a little afraid to get into Legends of Runeterra. Uh, but let's go on to the next video. All right, here we are, everybody. We're on the League of Legends website on Evelyn's page. The quote we have are, what are you doing tonight? How about we get together and unlock that vast well of torment inside you? Whoa, okay. Okay, hold on. Are these quotes from Evelyn going to be kind of crazy? I mean, she is the demon of what? Lust, right? I think that's what she is. So, Roll is Assassin. I think I only knew that because of Team Fight Tactics. I don't know if like that gameplay really necessarily made it seem like she was the Assassin role, but I guess she is. Related champions, we have Vayne, Tom Kench, and Rise. Um, I don't know the relation with Vayne or Rise. I could see Tom Kench only because he's another demon. Uh, but let's maybe we'll find out in the biography or story, or you guys can let me know in the comments. And then the region, it just says Runeterra. So it says here, within the dark seams of Runeterra, the demon Evelyn searches for her next victim. She lures in prey with the voluptuous facade of a human female. But once a person succumbs to her charms, Evelyn's true form is unleashed. She then subjects her victim to unspeakable torment, gratifying herself with their pain. To the demon, these liaisons are innocent flings. To the rest of Runeterra, they are ghoulish tales of lust gone awry and horrific reminders of the cost of wanton desire. Wow. Okay, so she lust or is she like pain? She's. I feel like she's one of them. Um, cause she. Yeah, yeah. I think I've, I've been told before something about like she just enjoys other people's pain, and maybe that's what it is, or maybe she's just straight up lust. Let's find out. Let's go into the biography here. Evelyn was not always a skilled huntress. She began eons ago as something primordial, shapeless, and barely sentient. This nascent wisp of shadow existed, numb and unroused by any stimulation, for centuries. It might have remained so had the world not been upended by conflict. The Rune Wars, as they would come to be known, brought an era of mass suffering for the, wor the world had never known. Okay, so maybe the Rune, the Rune Wars is probably how there's a connection with her and Rise. And I mean, I, I need to get into my head again. Like I've been reacting to mostly just regular like human characters lately in my reactions, but this is a demon. She's been, she began eons ago, according to the first paragraph here. As people across from Terra began to experience a vast array of pain, anguish, and loss, the shadow stirred. The nothingness it had known for so long had been replaced by the manic vibrations of an agonized world. The creature quivered with excitement. So all the pain and anguish in the world allowed that shadow of Evelyn to come out or just become like alive that's crazy as the rune wars escalated the world's torment grew so intense that the shadow felt as if, if it might burst it drank in all of Terra's pain which it experienced as boundless pleasure wow the sensation nourished the creature and over time it transformed into something more it became a demon a ravenous spiritual parasite that fed on the beast or the basis of human emotions okay uh wow she seems crazy <laughs> when the wars finally ended the world's suffering waned and the demon found itself growing desperate the only pleasure it had ever known was born of other creatures misery without their pain it felt nothing just as it had in its earliest days if the world would not provide the suffering the demon needed to thrive it would have to make its own it needed to inflict pain on other beings so that it could experience that elation again right so the war the right the room wars ended there was no other pain and like and there was probably that's like getting the first high i guess as a demon for evelyn and then like everything else after it was just like not good anymore because it's just like what the heck the first pleasure that she felt was so intense and so great and nothing compares probably now and there's not enough of it uh, at first, catching prey was a challenge for the demon. It could move undetected in its shadow form, but to touch a human, the creature needed to manifest as something tangible. It made several attempts to fashion a physical body from its shadow flesh, but each result was more monstrous than the last, scaring off her prey. Right. So the whole Evelyn that we see, 
the female form, not the actual demon, which is, it's always kind of crazy to me that like when you see something in its form, I think Belveth is another example, right? I see it as like a female human body kind of, but that's not the real it. Like that's not what it actually is. And that's, that's, I don't know. That's kind of scary to me, right? The demon realized it needed a shape that was pleasing to humans. One then would not only lure them right into its claws, but would offer them ecstasy, ecstasy born of their own desires so that their pain would be that much sweeter. From the shadows, it began to study those it sought to prey upon. It tailored its flesh to their liking, learned to say what they wanted to hear and to walk in a manner that they found alluring. Wow. Okay. In a matter of weeks, the demon had perfected her physique, leading dozens of enamored victims to be tortured to death at her hands. Though she re relishes the exquisite pain of each of her victims, she always finds herself wanting more. Each human's desires are so small, and they always expire too soon. Their pain, too fleeting to give her anything more than tiny morsels of pleasure, is just enough to tide her over to the next feeding. She yearns for the day she can plunge the world into utter chaos, and she can return to an existence of pure, rapturous ecstasy. Wow. Yeah, I mean, she wants the world to go into chaos. She wants there to be massive wars and things like that because she will feed on that stuff. That's crazy. Okay, let's... um. Let's go ahead and go into her story here. It's called The Tallest Daisy. I wonder what the story's gonna be about. Evelyn slinked through the teeming streets, the shadows of her body blending seamlessly with the night. Her eyes glinted within the gloom, though only the keenest observer would have noticed. Drunks, sailors, and harlots sh chatted in a nearby thoroughfare, blissfully unaware they were being watched by a demon in the dark. The demon, on the other hand, saw them all with perfect clarity and judged them with the most discerning eye. Okay, this is what we're going to get here. It's going to be like Evelyn stalking the streets, maybe, the streets maybe getting her human form and luring somebody, right? Evelyn's gaze settled on a man lying in the gutter, a bottle of beet wine dangling from his hands. Ordinarily, the demon wouldn't give a second thought to someone in his condition, but she had not fed in days and she found herself desperate enough to consider the man, if only for a moment. It would be so easy. All she needed was to lure him to one of the numerous alleys far from the glow of the street lamps. The thought perished as she watched a cockroach scurry, scurry across the drunk's face. This was a man too inebriated to feel. His arousal would be vague and muted. With none of the urgent attractions she loved to see in her victims before she brought them low, she might even flay an entire arm before he mustered a scream. Gotcha. Okay, so like it makes sense. A drunk person, they, they're not going to feel anything. He's too drunk. He's not even going to notice or he's not even going to care, right? And that was the problem. Over the course of countless feedings, Evelyn had learned everything about her palate. She preferred, no needed, her victims to feel every prick, every bite, every bit of flesh she peeled away from, with her claws. A man in this condition would be dull and unfulfilling, scarcely worth her time. She dismissed the drunk and continued down the muddy promenade past the windows of a dank, candlelit tavern. A fat, belching woman threw open its doors and stumbled out into the night, grasping a half-eaten turkey leg. For a moment, Evelyn considered the woman, how she might woo her into an embrace and then into the unspeakable hell that would follow. The demon watched as the woman wolfed down the rest of the meat, never tasting it. There was something deep inside her, a melancholy that would taint the experience. Evelyn preferred inflicting the pain herself. Ah, okay. So if they were inflicted of, with something else, they just, yeah, Evelyn wanted to inflict the pain herself. She got more pleasure from it, yeah? The demon moved on, gliding through the shadows of the town, over two more drunks, past a beggar asking for alms between a couple in the midst of an argument. Evelyn found them all completely unappealing. Hurting them would be like plucking a flower that had already wilted. She preferred her daisies tall and healthy for those were the most satisfying to cut down, hence the tallest daisy, wow. A dreadful thought overtook her. Perhaps she'd made a mistake choosing this wretched backwater as her hunting ground. Perhaps at any moment, the thrill from her last victim might wear off, leaving only the nothingness, that utterly empty space inside her where feelings should be. And then she saw him. Uh-oh. The gentleman was positively beaming as he exited one of the high-end pubs. He was dapper without being flashy, and he hummed a jaunty tune to himself as he set off down the street with a bouquet of flowers tucked gingerly in the fold of his arm. The two lashers on Evelyn's back writhed with excitement. Even from a distance, she sensed this man was completely content in his own skin. She dashed after the gentleman, taking great care not to lose track of her prey or to alert him to her presence. He walked for nearly half an hour before finally turning up a long walkway toward a modestly sized cut stone manor. At the end of the path, the man stepped through the heavy oak door to his home. Evelyn held her unblinking gaze on the windows of the man's house as they lit one by one with warm candlelight. A slender, austere woman in a high-necked evening gown entered and greeted the man with a welcoming embrace. She feigned a slight surprise at the flowers he had brought before placing them in a clean vase right next to an old bou bouquet. The demon's interest grew. Oh, so like she was going to get double 
pain from killing the man and then the other lady seeing it, the wife, presumably, or girlfriend, whatever. A moment later, two children scarcely out of diapers ran into the room and threw their arms around the man's legs, their wide grins sparkling with tiny teeth. Though the scene played like the epitome of domestic bliss, Evelyn knew what she would find if she probed just a little deeper. Oh, no. A whole family? Holy crap. She waited patiently, watching the candles go out one by one until only the parlor remained lit. The man was alone, settling into a reading chair to draw on his pipe. Evelyn crept out of the shadows, her dark, wispy limbs giving way to warm flesh. Her demonic lashes disappeared behind her back, revealing a shapely female form with curves too generous for an eye to ignore. Her hips waggled softly as she sauntered across the lawn to the window. She was nearly arm's length from the glass when she saw the man bolt upright from his chair at the side of her, his pipe nearly falling from his mouth. Evelyn beckoned with a single finger, motioning for the man to join her outside. Whoa. <laughs> okay. The man crept to the door, the front door and opened it tentatively, curious to investigate the strange beauty lurking outside his window. He approached her on the lawn with great apprehension and greater anticipation. Who are you? He asked timidly. I'm whatever you want me to be, assured the demon. Okay. Nope. Nope. Close the door. Close the door, my man. Cl close that door, okay? If some some really attractive woman comes to my door, nope. Close. I don't know what you are, what you got. You got STDs. You got something. As Evelyn locked eyes with the man, she plumbed the depths of his soul and found exactly what she was looking for. That tiny lesion of discontent that festered within even the happiest person. There it is, she thought. All he wants and cannot have. Ah. My family, the man said, unable to finish his thought. The demon leaned close. Shh, it's okay, she whispered in the man's ear. I know what you want and the guilt you feel for wanting it. Let it go. Oh, no, dude. Oh, I'm sorry, man. He's screwed. I, I mean, obviously, but she pulled back to find the man hopelessly captivated. Can I have you? He asked, ashamed of his brazenness, but overcame or overcome by a strange desire to take her right there on the lawn. Whoa. He's just like, okay, oh, of course, honey, that's why I'm here, said the demon. He touched her face with the tips of his fingers, caressing her cheek. She held his hand firmly to her skin and released a soft, sultry chuckle. This sweet, tender, happy man would be hers tonight. He had so much pain to give, and she would take it all. From behind them, the shuffling of slippered feet sounded from the open doorway of the house. Is everything okay, love? asked the man's wife. Everything's going to be wonderful, my darling. The demon answered for the dumbstruck man. The deal had become even sweeter and the prospects were more enticing. There was one daisy in full flower to pluck and one bulb to bloom while it watched. Wow. What a story. That's really cool. I thought this was really well written. Um, You know, I want to know, I kind of want to know the origins of demons in Runeterra. I know it's very like vague. We, we've watched a whole video that Necrit did kind of on demons. We don't know, right? Um, it's just that they, they exist. They've existed for eons in, in Room Terra. I thought this was a really well-written video or video story for Evelyn. It gives us an idea of like her her struggling to find something to feed on, but she constantly needs to. And you know why? Again, it goes back to the Rune Wars and like the, the Rune Wars stirred uh, awake this shadow demon that we're calling Evelyn and she just like can't get enough anymore she needs to keep feeding because she wants to feel what she first felt when the rune wars were going on all that pain and agony that she originally felt um, and fed on back then so I think she's a really cool character just off the biography and the story and everything like that I do want to know a little bit more about her um they mentioned them here in the story. They called them uh, lashers, I think. Yeah, they just called the two, like her two things behind her, lashers. Like her, I don't know if they're, they're obviously a part of her. You know, they're very sharp, like lash, uh, lashers is a good name for them. I just kind of wonder, I don't know how that idea came about. Like, I would actually be very interested if like when we went into these character um, reactions and things like that, if somehow there was like a video from the developers of like their ideas about creating the characters and like their designs. Um, but you know, we don't really get any, oh, right here. It says to her demonic lashers and they disappeared behind her back just to show her female form to, to hide them. Um, very cool guys. We're going to go in to the skins next. 
and then we're going to do her voice lines and interactions. I saw for the voice lines and interactions that there is a whole video for Coven Evelyn. We'll do a whole video for the Coven Evelyn voice lines. We're going to do the interactions and then we're going to do just the regular voice lines that she has. I saw that there's a 35 minute version, but then I also saw there's like a 10 minute, uh, not safe for work version. I think we're just going to do that 10 minute one. The 35 minute one might be a little bit boring. There might be a lot of like random, just like one liners or something that aren't very good. I just think the 35 minute one might not be worth it. You guys can yell at me in the comments if I'm making a huge mistake and I should have did the 35 minute one. But uh, we'll, we'll again, we're gonna do the skin spotlight interactions. We're gonna do the voice lines video from the that one other uh, YouTuber, I think just another nobody. And then we'll do those coven voice lines. I'll give you guys the extra video with the coven voice lines, all right? Uh, but first let's do the skins. All right, everybody, we are on the League of Legends website. We're just on the champion uh, overview and everything like that. So I, I do like this. It says difficulty for her is high. You guys will have to actually let me know if she's a really hard character to play. She probably is with her whole like charm ability. I feel like it might take a lot of skill to use that. And then along with her um, last, car oh, is it changed to last caress? Is it not called Widowmaker anymore? Maybe that has to do with Overwatch having a character called Widowmaker. I doubt it. Okay, anyways. So we got the regular skin here, Evelyn. I see like she's got the lasher right into the back of this guy's shoulder and she's just on top of him. That's crazy. Okay, and then we have Shadow Evelyn. Interesting, less clothes on her. <laughs> she's got the, does she have claws in the first one? I didn't notice the claws. Oh yeah, she does, okay. Okay, yeah, the nails, claws, whatever you wanna call them, very cool. I like the aesthetic of this skin because it's like very black, the bats are cool, and then just a little shade of the blue, very good. Masquerade Evelyn. This makes sense because I think of like vampire, like masquerade as, as a, like a theme. I think this totally makes sense because I could see her as kind of like a vampire sort of in a way or a succubus, I guess. And I could see this, the mask. I think the masquerade skin is very good. We have, ta we have a bunch of skins for her. Tango Evelyn. Somehow I've seen this, um, I've seen this wallpaper. Maybe it's just a wallpaper that's been used. Obviously that's Twisted Fate. I don't know. This is probably just a non-canon thing, or this is just a uh, just an artwork. But we got Tango Evelyn. I guess she needs somebody to tango with, and it's Twisted Fate. And then we have Safe Cracker Evelyn. That's kind of like Black Cat. Oh, she has a sidekick. Who is the sidekick? Hold on. I need the story on the sidekick of Safe Cracker Evelyn. That might just be a random thing. I don't know who that's supposed to be. We have Blood Moon Evelyn. Oh my God, these, uh, dude, there's a lot of Evelyn skins. Oh my Lord. Okay, Evelyn has some sick skins. So far, all of them have been really good. We got KDA Evelyn. Now we have reacted to the video. She has a song called Villain, I think. We've watched that and reacted to that video. You can find that in one of my other League of Legends re cinematic reactions if you wanna check that out. I didn't wanna react to it again for this because I just, one, copyright. Like the, the video would just get copyrighted and then uh, we've already reacted to it. We have Prestige KDA Evelyn. I don't think I've seen that one. That one's interesting. Uh, I like she, the the gold, uh, the gold nails or claws or whatever you wanna call them. Then we have Sugar Rush Evelyn. Strawberry, oh, she has strawberry, chocolate strawberries for her ears. That's very cool. Um, I like this one. I don't think it's my favorite, but I do like the aesthetic of it. We have KDA All Out Evelyn. I've seen this one as well very good skin very very well done skin for that one coven evelyn now this one is the one that has voice lines oh look her lasher has a eye and a face whoa and she's like acting like it's her pet or whatever that's really cool we'll have to figure out why there's a different um different voice lines for the skin uh, or if they just did it just to do it um, but I'm interested to see why they're different. And the skin, I don't understand if it's part of a storyline or something. Um, but it's very aesthetically cool. And then we have Prestige KDA Evelyn 2022. I don't know what the difference is there. And then we have the Spirit Blossom Evelyn. I don't think she should be a Spirit Blossom. She's a demon. She's very scary. Uh, the Spirit Blossom thing is very like nice aesthetically and, and pretty. And I don't know. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I guess I get it very uh very pretty skin there i don't know what my favorite's gonna be guys this is kind of a tough one okay so we have to pick one kda i think it'll be the one that was um all out evelyn kda i think that's my fave and then blood moon tango tango's very good i think i like shadow evelyn of her other skins i don't know i feel like that's kind of basic 
Maybe Blood Moon Evelyn. Blood Moon Evelyn's good too. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments what your favorite skins are. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys uh, enjoy out of all those skins. She has a lot. Quite a lot of skins there. All right, let's go ahead and do the voice lines. I know that's all you guys have been waiting for. Let's do the voice lines and interactions. Hey, everybody. I actually forgot to do Evelyn's champion theme, so let's go ahead and listen to this before we do the voice lines. Oh, very eerie. Oh, I noticed there's people behind me here. There's like a king with a crown and then like some guards. Oh, and this, there's a crown on the ground over here. It's like a smaller one, like she killed the prince maybe. Do they do such a good job with these themes? Like this just feels Evelyn to me with with the the eerie uh, person in the background with the singing. They do such a good job with these. And this does feel distinctly different from the other champions we've reacted to, in my opinion. It's not like it, I can really compare it to any of the other ones. So do we know exactly what she's made of? Is it just like a shadowy substance? I know the demons in the League are very, you know... There's, there's not a whole lot there with what we exactly know. Now, I guess you could also say the villain's KDA song is somewhat like a non-canon-ish uh, theme for her. Just because the whole KDA stuff, you know, isn't actually canon or it's like another universe. Oh, I just noticed right here, it shows a heart on her um, skin. I think she, right, just from the story as well, we realize that she wants other people, so the people be behind me that you guys can't see, she wants other people to see that. Because then it causes more pain for her to, to relish on or, or eat upon. That makes sense. Oh, the the ending to the theme there. Like a dun, like all the chords just dun. Very ominous theme. All right, that was really cool. I like her theme a lot. I think that's a really good one. I think that literally suits Evelyn. I think that's very good. Now I know this is her rework. So Evelyn's been in the game for quite a long time, right? I saw there was a video that was like 10 years old of the first introduction of Evelyn. And then five years ago is when they did the, the rework um, and they did all this stuff. All right, everybody. I know you guys are all waiting for the voice lines and interactions. So let's do that next. All right, everybody, first we're gonna start off with the Black Widow Evelyn quotes. This is not safe for work edition. This is from the channel, Just Another Nobody. And then we'll do the interactions from Skin Spotlights and then we'll do the Coven voice lines afterwards, okay? And we're getting her theme in this, in you this really video. You really don't know someone until you've seen them beg for mercy. All right, here we go. These are gonna be crazy, I feel like. I was born of a thousand screams. That's true. Once I was overwhelmed by the agony now i can't get enough honestly this is my first time hearing her voice just a little pain did the trick now i can't feel anything until they do huh one touch with desire that's all i need mm. keep them longing make them plead always leave them wanting more Dude. without pain how would they know pleasure she just sounds okay we're gonna pause it's exactly the voice i would think of she's just like the seductive like voice female voice uh like even when she's just saying the most normal thing right she just has that seductive female voice that she formed when she created the female body too right they're suffering they come to love me every single one hmm. oh, how their screams make me tingle I use every part of their torment 
Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. Yeah, so I mean, she, like in the story that we read about her, she was like kind of, kind. Of, she was really hungry. She was like almost starving. She needs to get as much, it's like eating a meal for her, right? She needs to get every little bite in. The more I cut away, the closer we'll get. Their mouths say no, but their bodies say flay me alive. Whoa. Hate, no. I hurt them out of love. That's true. Every kill is just a lover who didn't work out. <laughs> love <laughs> at first sight and last. And last sight, yeah. Need to find me? Just follow the trail of widows. And that's why, so we saw that she used to be called the Widowmaker. And then I used, I saw that her ultimate and the abilities, she, it was all, called the Widowmaker. But then I saw on the website that her uh, ultimate abilities name changed. You guys will have to let me know why that changed. But that totally makes sense why she's the Widowmaker. This craving will soon be sated. More than Widowmaker and Overwatch. <laughs> Finally, a man who can satisfy me. You look like someone I could hurt for days. Mm, that's leftovers. Like what you see? These curves are real. I mean, is she Don't wrong? Don't die wishing you'd had this. Huh. You know you want me. Oh, yes. Cry for me, honey. She loves the screaming, Love me. too. Come on. Let's see those tears. She loves the crying. She loves all of the torment, Ooh, yeah? It's so big. I had to pause on that one. This can go. Let's find your spot, love. What is happening Hope in this? Like it rough. Oh, make me oh, now feel. we're just getting moaning? Oh my lord. Yes. Yes. But it's That's all... It. Yes. It's from all of the, like... I mean, she's a demon that, that eats like pain and torment, right? So I'm, it's like getting high on a drug almost for her, I imagine. No, no. It's her life Don't force. Don't die yet. I thought you'd last longer. Wow. Hmm. I hate it when they don't last. Once again, a woman's left unsatisfied. It's okay, hon. It happens to everyone. I mean, I don't need to point it out, but obviously there's the sexual um, connotation with all of this. Oh, well. Obviously. Time to find a new toy. Show's over, boys. A girl's got to know when to disappear. It almost reminds me of, like, I, I think I mentioned earlier, a succubus or just like, you know what I mean? Like the, the female vampire that lures you in and then you just eats you or, I mean, um, you know, it drinks your blood, right? Same, same kind of concept. I only do one night stands. That we've seen many times All before. All my exes are dead. Drink hmm. the pain, toss away the rest. I like the happy ones. They have so much farther to fall. Ah, yeah. The height of their happiness is the depth of yeah, the Yeah, the happier the are, the, the more she can get out of they them. have me. <laughs> yeah. That's what I live for. Man. They're all my favorites until they break. She's definitely a Someday demon, y'all. love me for who I really am. This land I will don't... become a sea of torment. Ooh, I like that one. That's Hate that one's a little bit more League of Legends, -y, I, I guess you can say. Passion. My love cuts to the quick. I hurt hmm. them till they hurt no more. Show me the man who has everything, and I'll show you my next victim. Yep, she wants to take the happy ones. Just looking for that special someone to torment. I'm very interested to see who she has interactions with. That's going to be the most interesting so thing, I bland. think. It needs a splash of red. Hmm. Let's see. Whose life shall I ruin today? Oh, you know what I just also realized? It makes sense that she's getting like this prince. I'm assuming it's like a prince or something. Because they are probably one of the more happier men in the realm or the world. Because, I mean, they're a prince. They have riches. They have probably wives or a wife or whatever, right? So it makes Hello, sense love. to go for royalty, right? That skin looks good a on A rich you, person. But it would look better on my bedroom floor. And oh, oh, that is such a sinister line there. Everyone's pain tastes different. 
What flavor is yours? What ice cream flavor are you, huh? Aww, you thought you were getting lucky. No, don't stop. Oh, that's so <laughs> evil. Don't be shy. That's so evil, man. First time being tortured? Don't worry. I'll do everything. <laughs> I'll suck every last drop of joy from your heart. Wow. <laughs> oh, the laugh. Your fear is delightful. Dude, no. Don't worry, honey. I would never. I'm open to all types. I would Not never want to meet Evelyn. Not dragon. Guess who's back for more? I can't wait to see your pain face. Your pain face. Nothing personal. I just need you to suffer horribly. It's Wanna true. Get out of here? It's not personal. Beg me to stop. Oh, she loves the begging Enough to stop. Enough foreplay. Let me in. Whoa. Scream. It makes it better. Yeah. <laughs> you're so hot when you're hurt. Uh, I don't know if. I'm okay. Don't go anywhere. I'm not done yet. She's still flirting. Naughty, she wants to get that pain. That gets you. The torment lush. out of you. We're done when I'm done. I know you're hurting, but I can't feel without this. Dude. Harder? Okay. Oh. I hope this hurts. Careful. I'm a biter. She's a biter. Ah. Let me see you hurt. My, that's a lot of pain. So, man, just from these voice lines, she is torturing people for what seems like hours she wants every drop of blood every scream every cry every every um you know any little ounce of torment and pain she can get out of her victims this is this is a crazy evil character you're a lot to love which is seems to be what we've been reacting to mostly <laughs> as of late I love it when they talk dirty. No, please, stop torturing me. Yeah. <laughs> she loves it. Suffering is the meaning of life. Well, <laughs> their lives. Ooh, <laughs> so many joyful people to hurt. Yep, joyful people. The bigger they are, specialty. the more places you can hurt them. True. Every smile is just a frown waiting to be turned upside down. Oh man, that's an eerie one. That was a really eerie line. And the way she she did the voice line itself, the voice actress was really good. And their flesh, flay them head to toe. That Misery one too. Loves whatever I tell it to. Let's see, something to fill the emptiness. <laughs> oh, the, I've had the my giggle. Eye on you. <laughs> I hope not. Now I'm gonna rip yours out. Wow. Lights out. They all look the same in the dark. Oh, now we're getting like a little bit of a different they don't know voice here. Them. It's like Yet. the demon voice is coming out. Ooh, I like to watch. Hmm. The things we whisper in the dark. A little bit of heaven before the hell. That's it, love. Let your guard down. Go on, touch me. It's She's so... better in the dark. Okay, I see. <laughs> One last kiss. Yeah, I'm curious what like what this this mode is. Why she's like whispering or in this little different voice that she's doing here. I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll see it in the other videos here. Okay, I think that's it, folks. Uh, well, let's make sure. Yeah, that's it. No. Wow, let's go ahead and pause it. Um, man, I mean, this is this is evil, demon, demonic, tormentor to the max. This is 10 out of 10. Like, I mean, she is, she is just a demon with one goal. She feeds on pain or torment. You guys are, you guys will have to let me know in the comments what she specifically feeds on or what she is the demon of exactly. Um, she just she loves it man she is like fully into it i mean there's not a day or a victim that she's just like she's just fully into it each time it's it's very wild character i don't know if there's been a character like this i mean like i said there's your your tropes of like the succubus or the tropes of like a female vampire or whatever like seducing you but a demon 
um, a demon like that. I don't know if that's ever been a thing, like a demon of pain or torment or seduction. Um, she and, and then let's talk about her character design a little bit. These little lashers that she uses and then the fact that she's a she's just a de she's not even a female, right? She's not a female. It's a demon that's turned into a female form. I keep calling her a her. I mean, Evelyn is not even a her, right? It's it's just a demon that's taken the form of a female, technically. Um, but yeah, let's go into her interactions because I'm very curious who she's going to have interactions with and what she's going to say to some of them. Let's let's go ahead and go into the skin spotlight video. All right, let's go ahead and do the special interactions first here, and then we'll do Coven, Evelyn. I've seen your wife. You can do better. Oh well, I did not expect some just sass out of her. Talk talking trash about her wife. Okay. Skank. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, jealous, Evelyn? Bluesy. Whoa, these interactions. I don't really have friends, just people I haven't eviscerated He's a little yet. quiet. This is taunting an ally, What's Amumu? What's the point of torturing you? Yeah, because he's sad, right? Ugh, I wouldn't torture you if you were the last person on Earth. Okay, so here, here's the key to... This is Evelyn's weakness. Just be depressed, everybody. Just be super depressed. She won't want to deal do with anything with you. So you're good. With infinite power comes an infinite capacity for pain. Mm, here we go. Okay. Aurelian soul. Didn't think I'd have an interaction you there. I can do a lot more than jingle, spaceman. Spaceman? Does that hurt? We got fire, or we got brand. I haven't so, had. So, you're a masochist? What you doing later? Oh, we haven't talked, or we haven't seen Dr. Mundo either. Blindfolds, huh? Whatever does it for you. These are a lot less. Can I'm gonna I'm gonna pause. These are a lot less um, sinister than the previous. These are a little bit more playful. I was expecting that we were gonna get like more sinister and serious quotes, but I mean, in game, I guess it kind of makes sense that she's gonna be doing a lot more playful um, interactions. Her kind even feel. This is with I Ori, Nar, Cog, Wreck, and Twitch. Lower life forms, okay. You seem happy. Let's fix that. Yeah, how, does she go for females too? I'm sure she Just does, right? The way I like them, big and stupid. Muscular champs. Wow. Why don't we leave the lights on for this? Nocturne. So how are you, River King? Oh, here we go, another I demon. I see you haven't missed a meal. I like your style, Kench. But stay mm. out of my territory. That's very cool. So she recognizes you another look demon. Like someone for sure. I could hurt for days. These are tanks specifically. Fresh. Ooh, I love watching you work. Okay. She appreciates How other people's do you work. Kill them so slowly. You have to teach me. Have I told you Bang. how your parents cried with their final breaths? Oh. <laughs> Is that our is that our connection with Vane? Did Evelyn kill Vane's parents? Confirmed. Holy crap! You guys tell me. Let me know in the in the comments. Don't worry, love. You'll join them soon. That's what she's uh, insisting. No, no, don't die yet. Kill any. Once again, a woman's left unsatisfied. All right, these are some of the quotes that we got in the last video. It's okay, hon happens to everyone hmm that makes sense that they're like uh, for kills i think we should break up oh that was Wanna a new one do it again we need to talk i hmm. want to kill other people hmm that's a good one hmm. that's a clever but one i hate it when they don't last that was hot hmm oh well Time to find a new toy. Was it as good for you as it was for me? No. Too <laughs> bad. Aw, playtime's over. She's got to find a new toy. That was fast. Look at me. I need to watch you go. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> 
I thought you'd last longer. Like, it's funny that that's, like, actually trash talk, but it also makes sense for her character and what she does. Like, you could say that for any character could say, I thought you'd last longer, and that'd be an insult, right? But it makes more sense with Evelyn's character, which is I which prefer is cool. going naked, but mm. okay. Huh? Is it's buying cloth to armor? Cover something so perfect. Why not give them something to take off? Mm. This land will become a sea of torment. Oh, torment. Rabadon's death Ready cap, okay. Feast on the pain of others. I don't know what that hat specifically does. Even a lich I know it's can in TFT. Suffer. The pain of a lich, lich is pain? eternal. <laughs> Think of all the places this can go. Oh. <laughs> it was for buying this item. This. Wow. It's so big. Okay, Evelyn. Now they will all know true pain. Ah, uh, still wet with the tears of Leandri herself. You guys will have to let me maybe know the specifics of like these your items. Style, Leandri, whoever you were. And what they do in the game, maybe, so I can get a little bit more idea of no, those what quotes. Else is funny? Pulling your tongue out through your neck. That's that's insane. <laughs> Pillow talk. Pillow talk. Naughty, naughty. That gets you a lashing. Okay, attacking Not the dragon. The first time I've had dragon. Yeah, there. That was that quote that we got. I, that one threw me off what a little bit. I was like, huh? Magnificent creature. When we heard it. Let's kill it slowly. Does Don't she worry, get anything honey. from a dragon? To all types. Yeah, I'm wondering what she would actually get from a dragon. Cold blooded. I guess she can kill like creatures me. still and get like something from them. Attack Baron. You're a lot to love. I just assumed that it would just be mostly humans because My, they have a lot a of lot like of pain. I don't know, joyful thoughts, or they could have a lot of joyful thoughts that she could steal away. The bigger they are. The more places you can hurt versus them. like a creature. Hmm. Finally, a man who can satisfy me. Hmm. Enter stealth. They don't know. Won't hurt them. Yet. Okay. Oh, she looks really cool in the stealth with the eyes. Ooh, I like to watch. Oh, that's why the voice was different. This it's is when she goes stealth. Oh, makes sense. Lights out. I forgot about her stealth ability. Stalk and seduce. Stalk and seduce. That's Evelyn in a nutshell. The things we whisper in the dark. Let's sneak around. They can touch, but they can't look. Hmm. You guys have to let me know how effective her stealth ability is in the game. I'm sure it's really good. Look the same in the dark. But I'm sure there are other characters that probably have something similar. Maybe not. Let's play hard to get. Yeah, 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 yeah. The night is my veil. Mm. Yeah. I'm sure she works more in the dark so nighttime. They like it rough. This is respawn, okay? Okay, my turn. Oh, the way she's sitting on her lashers when Ugh, she respawns. Dying is such a turn off. She's like reclining. That's so cool. Guess who's back for more? Let's First move. See. Whose life shall I ruin today? Hmm. The moment they think they have me. <laughs> yeah. That's what I live for. Mm -hmm. This place is so bland. It needs a splash of red. Show me the man who has everything. So and she can I'll take it away. My next victim. Mm -hmm. Now I'm curious what the oh, coven interactions are and why they're going to be so different. Many joyful people to hurt. I didn't see interactions for the any of the other skins. She did have a lot of skins. Okay, that one was pretty short, pretty quick, pretty quick. Let's go ahead and do the Coven one. I want to know what the difference is um, with that skin.
All right, and it looks like this one's actually a little bit longer. This one's only a year old. This is a more recent video by Skin Spotlights. Um, and it just says Coven Evelyn subbed. Hmm. Perhaps I'll visit Diana next. <laughs> this is Solar Lunar Eclipse Leona kill. Oh, okay. That was a very specific uh, interaction there. Little jackal, I wish to know thee. Ash of the frozen north. Thy heart beats. Oh, so cold. These are interacting with I other covens. Fear okay. the viper's bite. Thou shouldst fear mine. Mm. A duel of witches and gods. Finally, something satisfying. Uh, you guys will have to not, let me know the lore of these coven skins. I'm not exactly sure because I haven't seen the coven skin for anybody else. And then I did mention when we were looking at the skins earlier, I like the, the this is one of the better skins. And I like the fact that our like lashers have like a face. Cool. I know thy secret, Sun Eater. Kale. The truth of thy betrayal. Night Leona, is it? Mm, thou art gallant indeed. Mm. Old god of the mountain. I'll fight. Art thou big enough? She likes the bigger ones. Queen of the coven. Dost thou demand a duel? Or something more? What's her power level compar uh, compared to Kale and Morgana? Dream. Are all his hunger sated? No. Nope. We could be so much more than rivals, Jackal. So much more. Okay, so she's mentioning here specifically that they're rivals. The last interaction video, she just starts off calling her uh, a skank. Um, excuse my language, guys, but she calls her a skank right at the beginning of that last interaction. What's the deal with her and Ari? Thy heart is cold as the darkest winter ash. I shall keep it. Crawl on thy belly. We need to react to Ash eventually. Beg for my mercy. Whoa. I am that was the daughter a good one. of woman and god. Know thy place. Coven skin. Disappointing kill. Malphite. Seems even the gods failed to satisfy. Hmm. Twas devotion that drove thee, Kale. A madness born of love. A queen requires a consort, does she not? Consider my offer. Hmm. We are going to react to Kale and Morgana eventually. Wanting, Warwick. A pity. Mm. Rest, great hero. The that one makes sense because Warwick wasn't satisfied either. So then, therefore, her killing Warwick would leave her unsatisfied as well. My work is done. <laughs> Canst thou feel it? The darkness closing in. Mm. Thy blood. It burns. It sings. And it burns. I'll never be satisfied. It's not in my nature. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, she never will be satisfied, which is Perhaps I'll use thy skin for something. Crazy. I haven't decided. That's okay. That's wild. The birds are circling. Please don't please don't use my skin for anything, Evelyn. Thank you. Pray they eat thine eyes first. Soak my body in thy blood and grant me power. Hmm. Mother would be proud. Father likes to watch. Whoa. <laughs> a little unholy ritual as a treat. Hail the old ones. Hail our return. <sighs> Only the end Time of the kill? world could satisfy. Yeah. Cut it out back there. We're on the same team. Hmm. He's got jokes. <laughs> Funny, okay. I'll leave thy vocal cords for last. Ah, uh, that's a good I'm one going too. To find thee, little dog. These are really good. Oh, and when I do. Ooh. A boaster's tongue and liar's eyes. I'll take them all. Watch thyself, little doves. Little doves. She's so used that a couple the times. Others. They say I have my father's eyes and my mother's tongue, but the claws are mine. That's a good one. A perfect evening for a foul ritual. Let us sink into our depravities. <laughs> oh, the laugh, Sisters, the demon laugh. Lords, I am the daughter of the great Harrier, and I have come to set thee free. Hmm, I like coming skin. How wonderful okay. to rip the breath from someone, to watch their eyes grow wide with fear. That's her favorite thing. Men's hearts are clouded by want, want of me, want of everything. Yeah, so, uh, like I mentioned earlier, obviously it seems like her, her main targets are men. 
um, probably because they're the easiest. But I'm wondering if there's anything like the the whole issue with her and Ari. I don't know. Maybe but you guys want to let me know if she's ever tried to uh, do the same thing with women. Oh, but I make it worth it. D no, you Even don't. As I tear <laughs> out their ribs. I knew that if they could do it all again, they would. Uh, I will build our new throne from the gore and bone of a thousand wild-eyed lovers. That's insane. What dost thou see when thou looks upon me? A witch? A god? Or something more? Me personally, I see a demon. Before my father was struck down, he bet a mortal woman and hid the child away. Now, wait a minute. Is this actual lore? This is a second line about her mentioning a mother and a father. But I feel like this isn't true, or what is this? So many would give up everything they have, everything they could have, for one For touch. one touch of Evelyn. For every still heart, a lover cut down in their prime. Every eye, a fool who saw the truth. They will rise. We will all rise. Only then will men know the agony of our love. Mm. Tarry not, little doves. Little I'll be doves back again. to catch thee soon. God, she's just such... She's I playing return, with everybody. Though thou art always welcome to follow. Always playing with everybody. Do not weep for my absence. I would never leave thee long. Hmm. This curse remains unbroken. Is there respawns now? <sighs> resist more. Thou must. She likes it when you resist. It's too late. Our ancient graves have opened. Rough. I'll mm. have to reciprocate. Oh, God, please don't. Father, they will never learn. Yeah, who's this father she keeps <laughs> mentioning? I like to watch. Oh, Lord, the, the stealth voice. We all dance in the dark. It's a little bit more evil with this coven skin, I feel like. Hey, Father. Hey, God. That's like the third or fourth mention of a father. Let us walk together. So just the father of all demons, maybe? Time to stretch my wings. Oh, she's calling them wings. Interesting. Don't worry. I'll find my way. We've always been here. Mmm. She has. There's no light anymore. <laughs> oh, that was an extra special giggle out of her. My gods aren't here to save you. My gods. Hmm. I want to feel thee. Oh, God. Greetings, little dove. That was a very seductive spell I'll cast. Give thee everything. So is that one. Disrobe and follow. Disrobe and follow. I see you. <laughs> That's a funny one. <laughs> Thy heart is mine. Take my hand. Sin! Oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, God, it's like her real demon voice coming out there. When she screams. And she's laughing afterwards. Dark magic. Ooh. Darker deeds. My tongue is skilled at more than incantation. Hey. <laughs> I crave a lover's touch. Sometimes I keep their hands. Yeah, and apparently you're gonna make a they throne out of their bones. They want, as do I. Come hither, warriors. I fight. Okay. A gore-soaked bedchamber always elevates the mood. Gore-soaked bedchamber. Help, I'm lost and barely clothed at all. Okay, come on, Evelyn. Oh, the gods will rise. I'll make sure of it. One hasn't lived till they've torn the skin from a man. Oh, Lord. It's not rouge, little doves. It's blood. Okay, we have to pause. Oh, my God. My eye is, like, drying up or something. Okay. Ever coil oneself in the guts of a handsome stranger? Uh, Some no. Some rituals require a more intimate connection. Mm -hmm. I use every part of the body. For magic, of course. Uh, you mean to... One touch, well, not really. one embrace. Then darkness. Dance with me in the light of the eclipse. 
These are a My lot. Bears are watching. Like she got a lot of interact or she got a lot of um, lines for this coven skin. The great harrier stirs to feed. A spell is just words until it isn't. Hmm. I don't there know that one. There is great power in the lust of mortals. For you there All is. All I ask thee is to accept thy darkest desires. Suffering makes a fine reagent. Mm -hmm. I grow stronger with each turn of the season. Hmm. Every hour is the witching hour. I hear thee, my sovereigns. Our time has come. These are all move uh, lines. Fear is simply weakness, and weakness is so unbecoming. Hmm. They call it bewitched for a reason. Follow me into the dark. I promise nothing but ecstasy. Oh, what a liar you are, I Evelyn. Smell thy sins. Oh, this is these Come are attacks here, now. Little dove. How unholy. I assume it has to do with the like a witch's coven, magic. the skin. I'll put the devil in thee. I'll Dost put the devil fear? in thee. Show me thy devotion. A single touch. She's like How moaning at the end of every line. Calm Prayer down. Will not save thee. Won't thou play with me? Nope. Is that an invitation? Nope. <laughs> Give us a taste. No, I'm good. Art thou not tempted? No. Help me, brave warrior. Okay, come on. Mm, so strapping. Thy blood runs hot. Dark blessings. Man. Embrace me. Dude, they added a the lot of lines for this skin. I see why. Worship me. That this became its own video. <sighs> this feeling. I will guide thy hand. Tis only I. <laughs> I think my favorite is disrobe and follow oh, though. Yes. Give me more. That's just straight. We yep. Cannot die. Okay, this is death now. <laughs> we cannot die. I actually have a question about that. Can can the demons die? I guess technically in lore, none of them have died yet, right? Um, but I guess we don't know if they can or cannot. How can we? We don't know. Oh, that was the last one. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, pause it here and just react to or and just talk about um, everything that we reacted to for Evelyn. So I have questions regarding any of the demon stuff that you guys think I might not know in, re in regards to demons in League of Legends. Again, we reacted to Fiddlesticks voice lines and then we reacted to a demon uh, video from Necrit that we did like a month or so ago. So I would recommend watching those just first anyways, before you watch this one. Basically, yeah, my question is, all right, how long? So she's been around for eons, right? Also, can demons die? Who knows about Evelyn? I want to know this whole Ari thing. It seems like there's some sort of rivalry or something there. She really does not like Ari. I'm assuming maybe this is my guess. My guess is it's because she's another pretty League of Legends character that it makes her... It, like some people veer towards Ari and look at Ari instead of looking at Evelyn because she's just another beautiful like League of Legends character. I don't know. That's just a random guess. Um, but maybe there's something in lore that you guys can tell me. Um, a lot of her lines, I mean, obviously they're just basically kind of the same thing. She loves tormenting. She loves getting you to follow her. And um, I do say her character designs, and obviously that's why there's so many skins for her. Her character designs really cool with the two like lashers and everything like that. And her, her swipes that she does on her opponents and things like that. Oh, I just noticed this little thing right here. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, just tell me everything you know about Evelyn in the comments. I'm super curious. I feel like there's some stuff missing. I wanted to know a little bit more about like the, her as a demon, I guess. Just like... I don't know because I want to know more about demons in League of Legends. We have how many? Do we have four? I want to say there's four demons. So there's Fiddlesticks, um, Tom Kench, Evelyn, and Nyla. I think you guys have told me in comments. I know. So Nyla must be like a newer character. Um, unless I'm mistaking her for a Darken or a demon. I'm not sure. Uh, you guys will let me know. Um, and then like, I think you guys have told me either a new Darken is coming or a new demon is coming. I think maybe you guys have told me in the comments that a new Darken is coming. I'm not quite sure. 
Uh, yeah, I think she's a really cool character. I it, So it says on her difficulty that she was a high difficulty character. I don't know if she's necessarily, if I were to play League of Legends, I don't know if she's necessarily my kind of like character to play. Um, she seems a little bit like a, I don't know, like a Genki character. I could be totally wrong on that. And I don't know if that's really my type of character that I would play because of the whole stealth thing. Or I don't know. I guess maybe the stealth thing is just so she can recover and like hide from you. And then just, I mean, it makes sense. That's also goes with her character, which is really cool, right? She hides in the shadows trying to find the right person to torment. It's really cool that it goes with her character. Yeah, I guess other than that, guys, let me know in the comments just anything I may have missed. Let me know what you like about Evelyn, um, what your favorite skin is for Evelyn. And uh, power level wise, I'm assuming Fiddlesticks is considered stronger than her just because Fiddlesticks seems to be just based on what we know. He seems to be the strongest demon of them all. Um, but obviously, Evelyn being a demon, she's got to be pretty high up there on the ranking and power level terms in terms of like lore and things like that because she's a demon. Um, as far as we know so far, demons can't be killed or don't die. Um, and they've just also been around for eons. That's specifically what it said in the biography uh, for Evelyn, that she's been around for eons. So, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, for all your love on these reaction videos. Please leave a like on the video so it can get put into the algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. And if you enjoy these reactions, I'm going to continue doing these for a very long time. We're going to try to get through every League of Legends character. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can make sure not to miss any of those future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.